I had a teacher at, at one of the academies I was thrown off because I was thrown off all the academies in Belgium successively. But one of them was an older man, a sculptor, who gave me drawing. And I really learned a lot from that guy. I think now he must be 85 or something like that. But that was one of the virtually only real teachers that I had. I mean, who also said you can measure everything you can when you draw, but that's not drawing. You have to look at things, you have to see. And at that point I made, as a student, I made like 3,500 3, 3, drawings a year or something. I drew like everywhere virtually. But he really gave me the instigation to, and also the, the conviction actually to, to go for it basically, to become a, a visual artist or a painter or whatever. And then apart from that, uh, yeah, there's been people that are, that are of course important for your career. Uh, like here in New York, uh, uh, a person who was really important for me in terms of a career was actually Bryce Martin. Because there was this one point where David, and I don't know when it was, it was like 95, I suppose, there was the first uh, show in the, the, the Gramercy Park Hotel, in sort of like rooms. And David had some works of mine, which were on the transport back to Belgium from the Renaissance Society show. And he made a combination with Francis Picabi in a hotel room. And Bryce Martin showed up, and Bryce Martin was a half god at that point. So. And I knew especially which painting he wanted to buy, which of course was something that was just hung there because it was already sold be years before, but it was just hung there. And I knew exactly, but that of course created this huge, humongous rumor in New York that everybody turned around 360 degrees. 